Hi friends, Jane here, back with another Behind the Play. And this time, we're going to be taking a look at a do or die fight on Volskaya, where Zachary pulled off a fancy combo you don't see very often to win out the fight and the map. Now coming into this last fight, we're coming up on four ultimates which we are going to need to use in order to win this fight. Now unfortunately, our defense didn't go that well, so we're against a massive time bank. Now whether this is three minutes or four minutes, it doesn't really matter. The most important part here is that the Atlanta Reign capped second point with over a minute on their time bank. Now this puts us in a very, very difficult position. If we don't capture with time, so if we finish the map in overtime, we don't even get a second attack and Atlanta Rain plays for the draw or the win, but they have no chance to lose. And of course, we want to win. So we need to win this fight and we need to win it fast. Now to start off the fight, OG's gonna be moving forward and dropping the bongo. Now Orisa's bongo is an extremely powerful ultimate for a lot of reasons that I'm not going to get into, but the big one here is that it changes the breakpoints on damage heroes. Now in this fight, the difference maker is going to come when AKM uses Hanzo's storm arrows. Normally it would take three shots from the storm arrows in order to secure an elimination, however now with the bongo it only requires two, and AKM, he's got some pretty good aim and he does not miss, eliminating Erster and giving us the advantage in this final crucial fight. Now a couple moments later, Closer is going to drop his Amplification Matrix, which is also known as Box or Square, depending on how lazy you are. Now if AKM was shooting through Closer's Square while also being amplified by OG's Bongo, both of these effects would apply. However, it's not just Hanzo's arrows that gain this benefit, it's also Maze Blizzard, which Zachary uses not a moment later, as soon as that field is up. Now in Overwatch, there's no cap to damage multiplication. Both OG's Bongo as well as Closer's Square are both going to affect projectiles that pass through it. Now getting Maze Blizzard amplified by the Bongo as well as the Square is huge. It increases the damage by 300%, which turns the damage over time of Maze Blizzard to 300 HP. This is a big deal because 300 HP is higher than the 250 HP of the Immortality Field as well as the 200 HP of the Bongo for the Atlanta Reign. This means that both of those buildables will be destroyed throughout the course of Blizzard, even if they're hidden by cover or behind Orisa's shield. But not only does Zac have his Blizzard doing a lot of work for him, but he's also got some pretty sick aim. Lands a headshot onto the Orisa, and then to the main not a moment later to clean that up. Now with time ticking down, the last bit of the recipe is going to be capturing this point before the timer hits zero, and time is ticking down. Note returns on the Wrecking Ball, prevents their Wrecking Ball from touching, and allows us to capture this point with less than one second remaining. FRD looking to do some big damage right now. He will obliterate Note. Zachary, however, going to work in the back line. Zachary making the plays for the Dallas Fuel. That's a take of permanent progress picked up for the Fuel, and that's going to be two. We'll see if they can get the third locked in. You're going to have the change coming in from Erster. Pokepo's gone over to the Hammond, and he's not going to make it in time. Great work there from Note with the body block at the end. And not to let a good play go to waste, in those extra rounds we evened up the time bank and ended up closing out Volskaya with a win. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Behind the Play. But don't worry, even though the season is now over, there's going to be lots more content heading your way during the offseason. But before that, the team, the players, and the staff got to head to Dallas and start getting ready for 2020. Burn blue, friends.